So recently I picked up this, the Fujifilm X100F, and I guess I kind of want to answer the question is, should you buy a brand new one in 2020? No. So I've been kind of out of photography for a couple of years now. Back in college, I used to rent out a Sony a7 II week over week because of a program that my college had. So I would do photos for clubs, sometimes for the university. They would get shown on like their Instagram, did some portraits for the people in my dorm, made a couple bucks off of it, and kind of did my own creative stuff on the side. I kind of fell out of love with photography for a very long time. Mostly because I felt like I was kind of chasing this direction of taking the same photos and trying to replicate the same people that I saw on Instagram with the orange and teal filters and everything like that. Just kind of creating this generic Instagram-y type of photography and I fell out of love with it. But recently I've kind of gotten infatuated with the X100F. A lot of the uh, travel photographers that I watch on YouTube, such as like Joe Allum, uh, I really just fell in love with this camera and I finally decided to pick one up, but I didn't pick it up brand new. You should not pick up this camera brand new. And I'll go into that in a little bit more detail, but this camera on the used market right now is in a perfect spot, this amazing spot right now. So I picked up this camera. It came with this grip right here and it also came with this lens filter the lens filter adapter, as well as this lens hood. So this uh, filter in here is a UV haze. It's kind of cheap. It's only like the 49 millimeter, but the thread adapter itself is like $50 or something. Uh, probably this one I think is third party, but still it's kind of expensive. The lens hood's not that expensive, but this grip was also like $60. And this camera hasn't been shot that much. I think it only had about 5,000 actuations when I first got it, which in all honesty, that's like a week of going out and shooting, like consistently. If you were to go on a vacation, you would easily take 5,000 photos, or at least I would if I took a week vacation. So why I fell in love with this camera and like just the first weekend I got to go shoot it where I went to the UCI to go take some photos from my POV videos is that having all of these dials right here, just all of the dials and shooting an aperture priority and just the clickiness, the tactileness of everything and just, it, it really makes you take more time into actually shooting your photos. You don't really want to shoot in all auto with this camera. You do want to mess around with the settings because they're always right there for you. You have just moving the shutter speed with your thumb, moving the ISO, your exposure compensation, your aperture ring is always available to you. When I shot with the Sony a7 II, I kind of just let the camera do its own thing for the most part, unless I was doing like long exposures or whatever fancy garbage I decided to do with that camera. Now I'm not knocking the Sony or anything, I'm not knocking any other camera manufacturer or whatever, but I needed something that kind of connected me more with taking photos and being more in line with photography. And that's why I fell in love with wanting to shoot with this camera. I haven't taken it on any travel. I haven't done real street photography with it yet, but I am planning on going to LA with it eventually when things get a bit better. Of course, I'll be wearing my mask and everything, but I do want to take some decent and good street photography photos very soon. Why is there such a good value on the used market right now? Well, you can go for this used, which is pretty much like half the price of the Fujifilm X100V, the new iteration that just came out. This can go for about half of that used. I think the X100V goes for like $1,200 to $1,300 right now. I picked this one up for $700, and that's including everything that came with this. The fact that it was such a clean camera, there was nothing wrong with it, there still is nothing wrong with it. Uh, the grip and everything that came with it, the original box, three batteries, charger and everything, six consoles, and just having everything in this package for that amount of money was like insane. Now, when you order on the used market, you do have to make sure that you are going with a trusted seller, 
making sure that you are actually buying a working functional camera. There's a couple buy it nows that say like $400, but that's for parts. That's not for the actual camera that's working. So make sure you look out for that. And there's a lot of good bundles out there, but there are some problems with this camera to where you might want to spend that extra money to get the X100V. Um, at F2, it's not that sharp. It is kind of soft around the edges. It kind of creates this like dreamy type of like aesthetic to your photos, just like with slight blur on it at F2. Um, for me, that's not a big problem because I usually end up editing my photos that way anyways. I do like taking that dehaze filter in, knocking it off. So that's kind of like the aesthetic I do like to go for. So that's not a big problem for me. But the new X100V has that sharper F2. The lens itself is a lot cleaner, a lot sharper. The camera is a bit faster. It has the flip out screen so you can take like chest height, even lower photos for street photography. So there is a lot of good things that is in the X100V. I mean, weather sealing is also a big thing. I can't take this out in the rain without an umbrella and me like really hiding behind it. So that's a big problem as well. But other than that, like this camera has done so much and I've had it for so little that I'm, I literally just, when I'm working at home, I just like grab it and I just like want to take a quick photo of something. Classic Chrome and all the film simulations are amazing. Editing directly from RAW is perfect. I love the colors of this camera. And yeah, like this camera has just kind of rejuvenated that want to go take photos again for me. I've been out of photography for about three years other than taking a couple of photos with my phone and tossing them up on Instagram so that way my you know account isn't totally dead. But yeah, I'm really excited to do more with this camera. I want to make more content with it. Those POV videos were really fun. However, I want to go more in depth, going to different locations and a bit of traveling eventually as restrictions do let up. But other than that, this has been like just an amazing camera. I love it a lot. And I really think if you have been in photography for a long time, or you just want to get back into it, or even if you're starting out, this camera will help you relearn composition, will help you relearn, you know, your dial settings and making sure that you're at the correct settings for the type of photos that you want to take. And I've just been more conscious about, you know, taking my compositions, placing things, getting closer up into the action, that kind of stuff with the single lens system. I, it's a great camera and it's still a great camera even in 2020 even with the x100v if you can find a really good used deal on this cop it pick it up take it so excited to take more photos with this you can follow me on instagram for some of the work and some of the daily posting that i try to do on my story uh subscribe if you like this video like the video and comment any questions that you have about this x100v and uh catch you for the next one later